Hey guys, what is up? SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the unique weapon AER-14 in Fallout New Vegas. So what you're going to want to do first is head to Vault 22. It is just east of Jacobstown and just west of the Strip. If you go to Camp McCarran, you're going to get a quest that is going to force you to come out here to Vault 22. And there's a lot of interesting things here, but we're just covering the unique weapon that's here. So once you get inside, you're going to head straight go down this flight of stairs and come up to an elevator where you're going to want to go to the fifth level test control. You might have to do a little bit of exploring before the fifth floor is open to you, but once you get here, take a right, there's going to be a very easy lock. I think the lock actually depends on what level you are, so for some it might be a higher difficulty lock. Head up these stairs, turn to the right, and next to this corpse will be the AER-14 prototype. It's pretty easy to get, and this thing is actually pretty good, but I'm going to read from the Fallout Wiki, give you some uh, ideas about some of the interesting things about this weapon. Uh, the AER-14, a successor to the AER-9 and AER-12, was a prototype in development before the Great War. The unit found in Vault 22 is one of those development models, complete with exposed wiring and loose prototype circuit boards taped to the stock. The AER-14 is similar in appearance to the AER-9, although it is a lighter gray scheme with an orange-red trim. It also has two integrated circuit chips housed inside its stock, which are connected to the rest of the weapon via wires. It uses two microfusion cells per shot. The AER-14 also fires a green laser instead of the normal red laser. So... It's not much different from uh, the normal laser rifle besides the fact that it shoots a green laser, it doesn't have iron sight view, and cannot be modded with uh, normal laser rifle mods. Though it can be repaired with normal laser rifles, which is very interesting. Uh, it can fire about 495 times using standard cells before breaking. Um, this is one of the higher damage laser rifles besides, of course, the tri-beam laser rifle, which does a lot more damage. Um, it is possible to achieve a 95% critical hit chance with this weapon outside of VATS if you use a true, true Police Stories magazine with comprehension, which is just insane. That means almost every single shot is going to be a critical hit, which is awesome. Uh, beside the prototype are several energy cells, even though the gun doesn't use that type of ammunition. Which is very interesting. I don't know if that's like a development bug. Maybe they accidentally did that, or maybe they did it on purpose just to confuse people and make us think about it. Uh, there is a glass-like object on the rifle stock if viewed in third person. It only appears as glass when next to the sky, but when it is near the ground, it appears as it should. It looks as if it were a plastic cover over two circuit boards and some wires, which is really weird that the weapon would change its appearance when it's uh, closer to the sky. Uh, I don't know who found that out, but whatever. Some bugs with it in third person, the circuit boards and the stock may seem to disappear and reappear depending on the angle they are viewed from and the movement of the character holding the weapon. So, some weird thing right here, if you guys want to hear about this, there's a sticky note on the back of the weapon that says Focus, 1064NM, 532NM, parentheses, SHG, 818PM, and basically this is the wave, the wavelength of the laser sight. Uh, it talks about the wavelength of the laser, the second harmonic, the second harmonic generation, and a frequency conversion process that uses a set of crystals that double the frequency of the light, making it look green as opposed to red. So it's kind of some scientific stuff, giving some logistics behind the weapon, but uh, I'm not too big into science, so I couldn't figure it out myself. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you could, please leave a like rating and subscribe to see for more videos in the future. Also, make sure to leave a comment if there's any more videos you'd like me to make on New Vegas. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.